What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Pumapa. Welcome to a Rattle Snake Valley Let's Play here on the PC. Do appreciate you guys clicking on the video. As you can probably tell, we are $121,000 in debt right now. It happens, right? I have been fast timing for a few days to get the wool pallets that we do have here. And I believe this is the sell point. If I hit a button, maybe, maybe a button like, uh, one of the dope. That, that, well, that will work. It's not what I wanted to do, but that will work. If I unload them right into the thing here, if we hit that, maybe? No? So, me and these wool, these, these, these trailers just don't, uh, don't really get along here. Okay, hang on here. Let's, uh, help. <laughs> help. I need somebody help. Not just anybody. Hey, now how do I actually? There we go. Oh, <laughs> uh, everything can be fixed in this game if you just look at the help menu, right? Oh, there's gold nuggets everywhere. I still need to do that, don't I? Okay, you guys need to let me know in the comments of this video right off the jump here. Um, should I do the gold coin challenge on a stream? Or should I do it like take a couple videos and do it in videos? You guys need to let me know. Let me know, let me know, please and thank you. In the comments down below. I greatly appreciate them. And speaking of comments, I totally forgot to look at comments to uh, answer them. Like I've been trying to do recently. I totally forgot. So maybe by the time the Thursday video, I will uh, look at comments before I record that video. Which, of course, I will, re will be recording right after this video. So, you know, it's a whole thing. Get in there. Get, get in there. Oh, this is going to end well, right? Actually, if I back out now, it's in there. Dude, totally professional. Totally professional. So we have something we need money for uh, that has to do with the sheep. So we need, we need something. I thought, or not really thought. Yes, I did think, but once in a while. Uh, I, I was going to use a bucket at first and clean up all of the grass that way. I have since changed my mind dramatically because, okay, so over here at the sheep, which by the way, I, I did put the water tower in. If you guys didn't see, I think last video, I went ahead and bought the water tower. Uh, almost $200,000 off wool, that's not bad. So this is a water trough, right? Water trough, but the grass, makes the mess here at the water trough and you got to put it down here in the feed trough so my my first idea was to use a bucket for a little while and then maybe switch not to the road train pack maybe switch to the little little you know vacuum okay but the problem is if you run the vacuum it's gonna vacuum this and there's nowhere to put it so i'm gonna have to go to the conveyor belt method uh, that you guys have seen me use before, which I like that method. I like it quite a bit, actually. Um, so it's a good, it's a pretty good method, not going to lie. So we will have to set that up again here very soon. Come on, trigger, trigger, no trigger, no, no trigger. I have grass in me. I just need a trigger. Oh, there we go. There's a trigger. All right, so they are, they are hungry. Um, they are hungry and they are thirsty. That's how much I fast timed. Like probably five. No, actually, I filled them once, so it was a lot of days worth that I actually fast timed. A lot of days worth to get that little bit of wool, that two hundred thousand dollars of wool that we had. And the wool was a bad price right now. Technically, it was in the red, but it's one of those things where we just need to get rid of it. So it's all good. But yeah, I think I want to go back to the. Uh, to the what's it called here the conveyor conveyor belt method that I use um, it's gonna require an extra maybe probably yeah an extra kind of one of the long conveyors the transfer conveyors I'm still gonna have to leave room so I can get in here with the water tank to fill up the water um, and actually I know I did see a comment the other day something about a water tank somewhere I whatever I just placed my own <laughs> It was easier than Chavin to, like, go drive and get water. I, for, how many thousands was that? 
for eighteen thousand dollars to have water right there it just kind of makes sense to me honestly guys it really does these guys are thirsty aren't they wow they were thirsty it looks like we should have taken that other pallet too because it's 75 percent. that would have been an extra few dollars but that's okay it's all good question mark yeah it's all good so i almost took that whole trailer wowzers go ahead and uh probably shouldn't fill it back up right now because i want to try to keep some of our money i don't know let's see that's right this is a coat trailer they take like 10 minutes before you can unhook them i forgot about that so conveyor belts we might have enough money for this. We might. We need uh, probably three of these. We'll go ahead and leave them red. Because why not? We need three of these. And then probably two of these. And so there's that. And we might as well, as soon as this trailer says we can unhook. Because these coat trailers take a minute. So... There's that. There we go. So as soon as we can unhook, we'll unhook. And actually, let's take our... Uh, let's just hang on to the bucket for now. It's not going to give us that much money back or anything. So, uh, not a big deal there. Okay. Let's go to the shop. So, I hope everybody had a great and safe 4th of July. Kind of, It was kind of weird uh, being on a Tuesday. I'm not really a fan of that. Like, I want 4th of July to be on, like, a Sunday. Or a Saturday. Like, every year. Is that possible? I don't know. It's not. But, you know. It would be a thing. But I hope everybody had a great 4th of July. This is the first video I'm recording since the 4th of July. And if you cannot tell, I sound a little off. Because I, like... I'm not sick. But I think I slept with my mouth open last night. Because I was... I was done last uh, last night. Today is the 5th of July. So I was done last night on the 4th of July. And uh, just, you know, three long days at the farm. Now, I did. It was really cool. Um, as you guys know, that, that Saturday before, I went to the base, Cardinal baseball game. So that was really fun. And then Sunday, we went to the farm. And Sunday night, what did we do? We did something Sunday night. What did we do? Oh, I streamed Sunday night. That's what it was. I streamed Sunday night for a little while. And then Monday, we went to the farm. And Monday night, I stir No, Monday night, I did not stream. Uh, Monday night, we went downtown. To the downtown in our town. And we watched fireworks. And that was actually really good because it was, you know, the 3rd of July. And there weren't a lot of people uh, that were in town. Like, it was it was kind of kind of empty in a way down there. And and that was good. It was it was good. So the fireworks our our town only does about 20 minutes on the third. And then about 25 minutes, let's say, on the 4th. Not a huge firework display, but, you know, I'm not going to go all the way down to St. Louis to see, you know, the real the real fireworks in, in the St. Louis area. I'm just not going to do that. So, there's that. But, 20 minutes of fireworks, so they ended at like 940. We stood up, we packed up our camping chairs that we had, and I was in my house at 10 o'clock. In my house at 10 o'clock, 20 minutes after the fireworks were done, I was in my house. I was very pleasantly surprised at how, how quick we made it out. Now, we parked on a surface parking lot, and we actually go, and I don't really mind sharing this because I know I've said it a billion times, but we go to the hospital parking garage in our town, and we go to the top floor. The hospital's nice enough. They rope it off so no cars come in, but they allow people up there. So we parked on a surface lot near the hospital. We go ride the elevator up to the top floor, sit on the very, very top, and it's a pretty good view. You're a little bit away from it, 
Um, and actually, if you guys watched on July 4th, I went live on Instagram um, and, and like Instagrammed almost the whole fireworks show. So the first couple minutes I didn't, and after that I, I fired it up, and it was obnoxiously blurry most of the time, but you got the point, you know. But it, it it's probably a mile and a half from the, no, maybe a mile, maybe not even that far, from the actual fireworks uh, to where we sit, but we're up on a hill, they're down below us, and you can, like, it's it's pretty good. And, like I said, we stood up, packed our chairs up, and boom, we were out of there, and and home in 20 minutes on the 4th, or on the 3rd. It was it was really good. So, that was pretty cool. And then, on July 4th, Dad and I got up early. Early, early. That was the other thing about this whole, like, July 3rd, 4th, whatever. I was getting up early. And not going to bed early. That was the other thing. I was not, uh... Not going to bed super early and getting up super, super early for me. For me, I was getting up very early. I'm more used to, guys, and plenty of you probably know this about me. I like to stay up late at night, maybe 2, 3, 4. I mean, I've seen 8 o'clock in the morning before, but that, that's another story. I like to get up a little late then, obviously, so I get my hours. But anyway, I was, yeah, July 4th got up at like 7 or something after going to bed like kind of late and now that I'm thinking about it yeah okay, yawn sorry how many of you did I just get let me let me take a, a, a big old swig of Mountain Dew and I'll be right back all right so your boy's been running on Mountain Dew basically is what I'm trying to say <laughs> so July 4th got up super Super, super, super early. Went to the farm, planted more pumpkins, um, that kind of stuff. Which, by the time this video comes out, I'll have the on the farm from like the Fourth of July. I don't even really consider it a weekend. The Fourth of July midweek weekend thing, whatever you want to call it, that I that I filmed and put together. So that'll be already be up, of course, by the time this video goes live. Anyway, so. Yeah, we actually went to our town's parade, and that was fun. We went and sat like downtown in a shady spot along the parade route, and uh, met my sister there, and my aunt was with us, and it was a good time, pretty good time, four of us down there, and watched our town parade go by, and then we came home, let's see, what did we do? Oh, we went to the farm, planted pumpkins and stuff, and worked worked like crazy on July 4th down there again and then we came home a little early like it was probably 5 36 o'clock something like that and kind of just chilled out at home I had some leftover uh, barbecue from our barbecue on Sunday and then we went uh, down to the fireworks again down to the parking garage at the hospital again but this time because my parents were with us we uh, went and asked the security guard at the hospital if we could park <laughs> in the parking garage because it's just easier with, with the parentals uh, to park in the parking garage. So they let us in because we're like, hey, you know, it would be very nice and blah, blah, blah. We didn't really have to say too much and the lady was, uh, lady security guard was very kind and let us in. So we did that and it took us 45 minutes just to get out of the parking garage. 45 minutes to get out of the parking garage alone. Yeah. So there was like security and, and police and stuff directing traffic, but July 4th, like in our town, because our town's like one of the bigger ones in the county, let's say. So there's a ton of an absolute ton of people that come in probably from like all over the county even to watch our fireworks so it was it was a madhouse there were people everywhere so just to get home from the fireworks the fireworks ended at like 9 45 which i guess really isn't that bad we didn't get home till a little after 11 
And like I said, it took us 20 minutes on the four on the third. Yeah. So it was a bit of a car ride home. And uh, it was mostly sitting in traffic. And then we did stop at uh, Steak and Shake and get some shakes, but that's another story. <laughs> that really didn't take too long, uh, realistically. So there's that. All right. We need to go get some more. Some more. Some more. So yeah, it was a it was a good Fourth of July here. Like I said, I hope everybody had a good one, safe one. You know, it's really important when it comes to fireworks. Um, I actually did not light a single firework this year, and I'm okay with that. In past years, we used to have a huge, huge party at our farm. We would invite a lot of people. I mean, I guess it wasn't that many people. We maybe had like. 30, 40 people, most of them family. Um, a few friends started showing up the last couple of years, but we tried to keep it mostly family. We would uh, hang out, have like barbecue stuff during the day, and then, you know, be doing some fireworks. And as it would get darker, the fireworks would ramp up. And we'd be out at the farm till probably about 9.30 or so at night, because when we used to drive in, we would... Uh, watch the town fireworks basically as we would drive back into town it was kind of cool so yeah about 9 20 9 30 we used to be at the farm on the fourth but we just we kept doing it um my nephew kind of got hurt one year a little bit he got a piece of ash in one of his eyes so that was a bit of an issue i'm gonna try something here guys real fast i should have set this up course play i want to see if i can carry one with my forks just saying, can I, can I just like stab it? Stab, stab, stab. Not so much like that, but you know. Uh, but yeah, my nephew kind of got hurt one year, had to go to the hospital. So after that, we kind of, kind of scaled back on the fireworks and then, uh, just, just quit doing them all together. So this is not working. That's not working at all. So yeah, after after nephew having to get rushed to the hospital, um, because he had a piece of ash in his eye, because he was, you know, what do you do when you light a firework? You look up and see it go off in the sky. Well, he was still looking up and caught a piece of ash and and had to go get his eye flushed out in an emergency room. Anyway, so we quit doing fireworks. It got really expensive, you know, and I think I talked about it that part of it already in a video about how expensive it got. It was ridiculous. You know, and that was just the fireworks, not to mention the food and the drinks. And, I mean, we never really did beer. We're not really beer drinkers. A couple people would bring their own. And that was okay because they wouldn't get, like, trashed or anything. But it was, you know, soda, water, that kind of stuff. It just gets expensive. So, I'm glad that we stopped doing the party. Maybe someday again we'll, we'll throw a big 4th of July party. Um, at the farm, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll throw a party and invite all of you guys. Or wait. <laughs> That'd be something, right? That would be... That would definitely be something interesting right there, guys. I'll throw a party and invite my closest, you know, internet friends. All of them. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's totally fine that we don't do the party now. Um, we still have our big pumpkin day, obviously, in October. Uh, the big the big monstrosity that that party has turned into, because it's a thing now, guys. So I'm actually going to try to set this up with just the two lifters. Let's see how this works. Let's just see. Um, but yeah, pumpkin day really has turned into kind of something that we didn't want it to, in a way. In, in, in just a small way, because it's, it's gotten a little out of hand. These are going to stick out forever, aren't they? Well, uh, it's gotten a little bit out of hand with how many people show up, but it's not that big of a deal. The only real like issue it comes to when, with that many people showing up is we only have one restroom. So it's like a lot of people for one restroom. So... That's really about the only quote-unquote real issue we have is that, I mean, we're growing more pumpkins than ever this year, and we can pretty well say that every year 
that we're growing more than ever because we pretty well pretty well do do that where we we grow more than ever every single year so that's not really anything to you know whatever I need to turn this around before I uh, before I do that ah course play go away wait can I course play a conveyor belt <laughs> Yes, please. Yes, please. Ah, stop with the course play. Stop with the course play. All right, so I'm going to try to get this set up real fast for you guys just so you can see how it works. You've watched me derp around with this long enough, and I feel like I should show you how to do it if I can get any horse play to come up. Although every time I click that button, it's going to pop up, so there's not much I can really do about that. Alright, so this is where we're, yeah, we are definitely going to need two of these. Actually, we might not. We might not. If we could get by without it, I would totally. No, to make it all the way in there, we're going to need two. Okay. Let's just do it with two and be done. <laughs> is what I'm kind of thinking. Alright. Oh, of course, play. <laughs> Sorry if you guys hear any background noise. People are awake in my house and moving all around and that kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, those look pretty good there. Those look pretty good. So now we get into this one. And to make it back to the feed drop, I think this is why we need to. It's a little tight in here to do this, but that's okay. We'll make it work. We will make this work. That's what we would do. So now when we fast time, I can just crank it, guys, and not have to worry about uh, about it, basically. It should be a lot nicer than uh, having to sit here with the bucket constantly on the thing. And I still have to get in there and move the wool pallets, but that's not really a big deal. Not really a big deal at all. Okay. Is that not going to hit the trigger? That should hit the trigger somewhere here. That little bit of hay that's in there should, or grass. Or no, they're full. They're full right now, so they're not going to eat. Okay. That's fine. I, I forgot I filled them up before. So they will not actually, uh, not actually eat right now. Now, if I fast time a little bit here, they should, it should, uh, start picking up more, moving more, and it should feed them. I don't know why it's not feeding them. Should dump in there. Um, did it dump? No. No. Come on now. Come on now. Who's going outside? Someone's going outside. Okay. Uh, well, my conveyor belt's empty, so I'm assuming that it worked. How about that? Alright, we're going to call this video here. That's basically the gist of how I'm setting it up on this map. I couldn't quite get by with one of the long conveyor belts here. Normally, I try to only use one if you're actually going to the correct trough. But this map is a little backwards with their troughs. Um, it seems to be working as we pass time here. So, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button for more. Subscribe if you have not already done so. And, uh, as always, thank you guys for watching and toodles.